Uh, here we are, got my Uber driver off to Vienna. This is crazy. Pulling into the uh, terminal just definitely gives a, a different feeling. Uh, very exciting and uh, have a great time. Looking forward to it. Bye, Helene. Amsterdam. <laughs> when I got through the passport controls, the guy says, why are you here? And I said, <laughs> present to myself, he's like, your last name, that's German, right? And I'm like, yep, heading back to my motherland. train ride down to the uh, city center. Nothing just feels like Europe than these train tracks. Oh, wait, too many people with their uh, masks on. Made it to the uh, Airbnb. Very tempted to jump into that bed and take a nap. Most of that tour was all about the Empress and her apartments, 50s, 18, early 1800s. Um, yeah. The Austrian Wiener Schnitzel. Now it's about enjoying the night walk. on it today but we're headed to Schönbrunn 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 I'm butchering that
in the grounds of Showburn Palace. This is the gardens. I feel like royalty, you know, just getting away and making plants. Definitely a cool place to spend an afternoon. The uh, shade cover here provides a great place to just ponder life, I guess. Right there. That's the cannonball that was stuck into the side of the church. From something about the Turk and Ottoman Empire, something like that. There's a cannonball that was stuck in there. I'll have to get back to you on that. Tell me the Vienna sausages are the best here. Has the perfect amount of crust on it. Uh, cheese on the inside is really smooth, not overly salty. It's really good. I'd say that is one of the best sausages I've ever had. Hmm. So good. I'm told that this place has the most famous Vienna, Viennese, Viennese, um, apple torque. I did sneak into the uh, Aperol event and uh, now it's time to catch a morning train. It's 7.30 in the morning. I am now on my way to Salzburg. Sorry, I'm winded. Just made it to the uh, train station in the nick of time. Literally had to run through the train station. but apparently he did. Kind of unassuming. There is uh, Salzburg. Red Bull World Store. Could I spend a fortune at the Red Bull Store? But they gave me a bunch of free, like, look at that, limited edition. Tram, but instead, you know, we're just gonna walk up. I kind of wish I just paid the 12 euros. Definitely a commoner taking the walk. I feel like nobility gets to take the train. So we just walked through the uh, horse tunnel and uh, now we're inside the fortress. should say the fortress um, I'm getting tired I uh, I'm ready to sit down I was up seven o'clock get on the train I mean, it's just a lot of hustle and bustle I'm now starting to think that I have packed too much into this itinerary and I can't wait to just like plant my ass somewhere at the brewery hey. Normally you'd be out there in the dark in a nice sunny uh, day.
think I had three liters of beer, like, which, which is not that much, but all right. Cheers, have a good night. Uh, eight o'clock, it's not raining yet. I'm gonna catch a bus over to the airport, get the car. Premium uh, BMW, but you know, still a nice car. It's looking like an all day soaking event, so it's a little disappointing. I think this is just an opportunity to slow the trip down and just relax. walk and the woman at the teller said I wouldn't walk it that it would be too I don't know too wet too muddy too slick like sheer rock face and it is like super gusts of wind and um The tombstone is a cautionary, uh, cautionary notice. Words can't even describe this view right now. What I am seeing. Okay, just taking it all in.
Pacific, I'm gonna go take a bike ride with the free bikes that the hotel has. Oh my God. Look, <laughs> Look at this. Dennis, you're gonna die. Pick any bike, right? The bike I chose. <laughs> no way. This is my bike from college. I still have this bike. A pretty rainy morning turned into the best day ever. This place has just been spectacular. So, this is my breakfast. This bread, my cappuccino. I'm trying to enjoy all of this and um, get on the road. On the drive to Homestead. We uh, made it into Homestead and uh, onto the salt mine. Apparently it's the oldest salt mine in the world. The salt was used to cure meats back in the day, so it's super valuable. Found all of these bones buried here. And then um, even before the Romans even came into this area, Hallstatt was a mining community. Spring was the first uh, sign of this area over 7,000 years ago. The water had a salty quality to it, which attracted all the animals, and then the hunters came, which is why more people inhabited this area. This is how we're getting out of the uh, salt mine. <laughs> The coolest tour that I have ever been on. Totally beats the sedan mine in Ely, Minnesota. I mean, it's close second, close second. Um, staircase, 3,000 years old and preserved, and they brought it back to here. So that picture that you saw was the actual staircase 3,000 years ago. This salt mine had been in operation for 7,000, like I said before, um, and they know that because they found um, deer antler for the pick of the uh, mine 
in the preserved bodies that they found in this architectural dig. I am so just going to take you on a little walking tour of Hofstadt. Well, you know, you're just going to see images of how cute this place is. you saw in there was it was a burial for the people of Hallstatt back in the day they didn't have room they buried them they dug them up pulled out the big bones skull and femurs and placed them in there after they painted them super creepy but you know every culture has its own burial Uh, I've got to get in the car. We've got a two and a half hour drive to get to the Krimo Falls, the largest waterfall in all of Austria. This place looks how green these hills are with the contrast of the mountains. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Waterfall, you can see it there. All of those people up there are just getting soaked. Made it to the Kribble Falls in Austria. But we did it! Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can imagine on a hot day how good that would feel. You know how much that I hate rain and being partially wet, but this was totally worth it. said that I was going to go into the Alps to do some hiking. I know, it's cheating. of getting to the top of the mountain and I'm freezing my butt off right now. My hands are frozen. So my last minute booking hotel, I said I wanted a hot tub. So I Googled this place. An outdoor pool, outdoor hot tub, four saunas, brine sauna, an organic herbal sauna, a steam bath, or a finish sauna. You know, after a long day of hiking, I just, I deserve this. Pretty tough to beat this view. Um, did a lot of hiking today. You've worked so hard. This is just this refreshing break that you kind of need. Sales 
never sleeps. Natural gas uh right now. never intended to stop here. Um, I think you guys saw that on my post. I was supposed to do the Opera Hoot hike and um, by the time I left Zittler Falls there was just so many things that were telling me to stop here. I think in life you can have a plan and plans change right and it's about adapting to those changes and um, and then seeing the small signs that tell you a more beautiful path is right in front of you. I struggle with that times, a lot of times, is just slow down, enjoy what's in front of you. It's not always about chasing the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. And this place is a reminder to me of that, so. Okay, return the rental car. Now, catch the bus back to the Salzburg train station.
apple streusel. Do I look drunk? <laughs> Oktoberfest um, 2022. Shit. Started. It's only. It's only nine o'clock. Well, not gonna lie. A little groggy, little tired. Ten days of travel has really gotten to me. Taking a line scooter down. Kind of thinking there was going to be some better CGI effects, maybe, I don't know, fill the Atmos on that clock. Faded into Zurich, um, kind of out in suburbia right now. Already it's a little different, they use francs here, not euros, 6 o'clock. So I've got maybe 5 hours here. I might have too much to drink. Look at this.